Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Uncontested, our new basketball sports show. And it's actually a sports show on a lot of different subjects, but today the NBA is going to be our main focus. To my left right here is my colleague Joseph Terry. You guys know me, I'm Oliver Zettis, and uh, yeah, we're just here to get started. And uh, our first topic for today, guys, is actually going to be the Cavs and the Warriors. What a finals for one. I think we all really enjoyed it, even though it was five games. <laughs> Maybe not so much our Cavs fan, but... Uh, Man, guys, for the Warriors, what an incredible team. Um, the addition with Durant, obviously, that just made their team go to a whole nother level. Yep. You know, Curry played exceptional in the finals. Green, obviously, his defense picked up. And Thompson, he really finished it out in those last couple of games. His shooting finally caught fire. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. There wasn't a whole lot that the Cavs could do, it seemed. Yeah. Uh, even <laughs> once they lost game three, it was pretty much over. Yeah. Uh, it seemed uh, there's not really, uh, not really a whole lot that they could have done it. I don't really have too much to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, completely, Ada. And uh, for the Cavs, it really seems like they're going to need a, a new piece or two mm -hmm. to g now go yeah. on to the next level. Right? Obviously, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, Golden State added uh, Kevin Durant after the, the yep. loss there the previous year. So I guess uh, adding another piece is going to be necessary for the Cavs as well. Yep. Uh, Paul George is now saying he's not going to come back to the Pacers. Yep. After next year, yeah. <laughs> so it seems uh, we have an opportunity here for LeBron to land another star player. Yeah, and you know, Paul George is so much talent. We actually just looked this up to make sure I was actually incorrect. He's 6'9", mm -hmm. six, six, nine, guys. Nine. He's 6'9". <laughs> I thought he was about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, mm -hmm. So the man is huge. He can play defense. He can play offense. Mm -hmm. He's also a playmaker. And uh, a couple years back. Experience. Remember the, some mm -hmm. of those? Yeah, he's experienced. Mm -hmm. He played against the Heat in 2011, 2012. Guys, he was taking that uh, series to game sevens with people like Roy Hibbert, um, Lance Stevenson, mm -hmm. George Hill. These, these guys aren't like, you know, superstars. And he's taking them to game seven against LeBron, D. Wade, Chris Bosh. So I, I've always been a big uh, Paul George fan for some time. And it's been pretty interesting because actually in this last couple of days as well, the Celtics have been talking a lot about Paul George as well, or maybe even mm -hmm. Jimmy Butler hopping in the mix. Yep, there's a lot of trade talks right now, obviously. Um, you're gonna have to, to move some people around on a couple of those teams. I know um, he's talking about going to LA, Paul George. Um, we'll see if uh, Magic Johnson can get something done over there, but uh, I, if I were him, I, I think I would wanna play for the Cavs. Yeah, no, completely. And uh, one, one quick thing, guys, kinda of going back to just the Celtics for a second. You know, we were also looking at that team. If they could maybe add an additional piece, hey, maybe they're a team that can compete with the Warriors or Cavs or at least make it a series, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than just seeing these basically clean sweeps. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're trying to make some moves. They did uh, they did offload their draft pick there. I know Jimmy Butler is in play. Obviously, Paul George is in play. Yep. Um, but uh, it seems like they are trying to, to get something done, yep. especially uh, with that, that trade to the to the, the Sixers. The Sixers yes. Yep. Oh, and that so that's actually it brings us to our next topic, which mm -hmm. might even be the, the kind of biggest talk because it's one mm -hmm. of the first things that's actually yep. happened. Yep. The Sixers decided to make a trade where they move up two draft pick spots, right? Just two draft picks. And they now lose <laughs> yeah. one of their next year two picks first round two draft, draft picks. Yep. So to me, I thought it was insane, guys. I, I thought it was one of the worst worst trades I've seen. Mm -hmm. I understand Fultz is, he has a lot of talent. We've seen him, he's a combo mm -hmm. guard, great player. But he's no LeBron James. Yeah, no. You're not looking at this kid and going, no Kobe. oh man, yeah, this, this kid's like going to be the best ever or anything. He's like, he's very solid. Sure. But there's so many other great players like Josh Jackson, Lonzo Ball. There's just mm -hmm. the list keeps going. There's yep. a lot of talent. So that's why it's just to me, it was really funny. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, I mean, obviously, they don't see a player like that that they think is going to change their franchise like yeah. somebody they could trade for. So it totally. um, seems like they're just going to keep making moves. Yeah. And guys, kind of brings us again to yeah, our, last, our, our last couple topics here. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, <laughs> Lonzo Ball and his dad, LeVar Ball. Yeah. Um, we've kind of been cracking up over this for the last couple <laughs> weeks, or actually really months. Uh, the first time I kind of got introduced to LeVar Ball was actually watching that little Dickie video. So, mm, no, oh, really? Oh, yeah, man. that might have been one of the first times I really saw him in person, too. I heard his name, but... Yep. Yeah, so, Lil Dicky. <laughs> so I never watched any of the shows with him and MJ or anything, but man, I see that video with Lil Dicky. Lil, you know Lil Dicky's oh, from uh, Philly, right? Oh, man. Uh -oh. Right, right? Uh -oh. Maybe I got some in the trade. <laughs> it's going to be an upset. Well, they do have the number one draft pick now, don't they? So, man, they do. Yeah. I don't know. Lil Dicky, make it happen. Well, hey, shout out. <laughs> shout us out, Lil Dicky. But, uh, you know, I really like the brand, man. I was cracking up at that. And I, I think, you know, the way that he's done it, they, you know, they're making money it's already. Smart. It's smart. You know, the, the big baller brand, hey, mm -hmm. you, might, you guys might see me on here next time with the big baller brand. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan. I mean, the strategy obviously obviously it works. They're talking yeah. about him. Um, there's a lot of exposure. I wouldn't have heard about him. I don't really know a lot of the players in the draft. So, yeah. 
um, it's working, obviously. And if they can make some money, I mean, more power to them. Totally. Yeah. And I won't be buying the shoes <laughs> or anything else. Oh, with their name, so. my goodness. Yeah, well, we'll see you on next show, guys. I might have to represent now that I've said it. But, uh, guys, it's, uh, that's pretty much it for today's show. Um, thanks so much for all the feedback on our last video. Please, again, yeah, like, comment, share. Definitely let us know what we need to improve on or what mm -hmm. you liked. Guys, next week we're actually switching it over to a different sport. And uh, Big we're, pretty, we're pretty excited for that, yep. guys. We got um, uh, Floyd Money Mayweather versus uh, Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. um, I, just a little insight. I have him going 50 and 0. And, my man Joe right here sees him taking maybe his first loss. <laughs> no, no, I'd like to see him take his first loss, but uh, I'm not putting any money on uh, McGregor. Oh, man, boy. Great as always, Joe. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah.